Why do I need coffee? Because I'm dehydrated. I'm not getting in enough salt. Uh, because I'm not eating well and I'm not sleeping well. Sleep. If you fix those three problems, you won't need coffee to train. And that's one of the biggest the pieces of feedback that I get. And I have some testimonials here today. I get hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of testimonials from people who have said, I'm off of coffee. And they feel amazing. When you're just eating anything and everything, and even if it's, an, if it's your macros or if it's a dirty bulk or if it's an overly restrictive diet on egg whites and, and broccoli, they end up with gut problems. Mm-hmm. And they're not efficiently utilizing their food and they're not efficiently digesting. They could have IBS, they could have GERD, acid reflux. Maybe they do have bigger problems such as leaky gut and have a, a wheat allergy or something like that. There are a lot of those things. They're not competitive and obese. They might be in a type 2 diabetic situation. All of that is correctable. Uh, it's not a permanent condition. I've had people that were on antacid medications for six, seven years. They were off within less than a week Mm -hmm. when they just cleaned up their diet and started getting away from some of the foods that they thought were healthy for them and, and aren't. Hydration comes from the minerals, the sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. So if you're drinking water in the absence of minerals, you're actually compounding the problem. If you're peeing clear, that's not a good sign. That means that you're deficient of those minerals. The reason I put egg yolks in my diet, and yolks in specifically because egg whites with the abdomen tend to be the more responsible for the adverse effects and the allergies than the yolk does. Yolk's hugely beneficial. So you can throw away the whites? I I would suggest people throw away the whites. I have them in my diet. There needs to be a marriage there somewhere. I think so. You can throw away the whites and I'll eat the yolks kind of thing, right? If you're looking at the protein itself. That's a macros conversation. Yeah. I'm looking at micros. I look at, at, at I eggs as K2 and choline and yeah, But there's, and there's millions of people out there just eating the white. Just, which I think is a horrific idea. Right. It's terrible. So, well, yeah. we got to make sure yeah. they get married. I've railed against that egg white protein and, and egg whites to the exclusion of yolks. I hate it. So the K2 becomes very important. It's in the egg yolks. It's a very high source of K2. Uh, and if you have to supplement it, then maybe you do. But the reason for the K2 is, is the K2 determines where the calcium gets deposited in the body. And you don't want it in your soft tissues. That would lead to calcification of the arteries. The K2 will decalcify the arteries and put uh, that calcium where it needs to be and use it uh, for the chemical electrical signals and use it in your teeth and bones. Uh, so, and so it's really important for that reason. Another piece of research that I included in my document, and again, the vertical diet has a hundred links to scientific literature or professionals in the industry, video links to supporting the reasons why I do what I do. A lot of people like to talk about pro-science, but those people have not read my document because it's very well supported by science as well as my personal experience.